everything that happens physically happens in the spirit. Everything that happens in the physical is happening in the spirit. Just today I was telling Ashley that the seven thing we fire or disease. We were like so the monkey po- monkey pox or spot, I wouldn't know. Monkey pox. You haven't had it. It's not the third in London. It's in eight European countries so far. So far we have twenty two in London. Or in England, I would say. Each and every blessed day we wake up, there is something attacking us one way or the other. And as a child of God, it is our time to show the world who lives in us. Amen. Amen. Sicknesses and diseases are following us and attacking us every blessed day. Just like this woman who had this infirmity. 18 years. She was like that. She couldn't lift herself up until she met Jesus. Until she met the Son of God. The maker of the heavens and the earth. Bible says at the mention of the name Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. So at the mention of the name Jesus right now, we declare that every sickness must bow. We declare that every depression must bow. Anything that is contrary to the word of God must bow. Because Jesus is here today. Amen. I said Jesus is here. Where two or three are gathered in his name, he is there. So I believe the Son of God is here this very afternoon. And you should not live here the same. I shouldn't live here the same. Because there is no way for us to come into the presence of God. We we couldn't have an encounter with him. But we couldn't experience him in one way or the other. One way or the other, there should be healing of our mind. There should be healing of our soul. There should be a healing, some form of healing. Do you agree with me? There should be some form of financial healing. Amen. Amen. The angel was with, I guess, from the angel who is financial healing. Could you say amen or my Amen. 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 I need that financial healing. Amen. amen. I need that new mind, the new thinking. Amen. Yeah. Because sometimes I believe my thinking is not right. It's against the things of God. Amen. Amen. Do you know why? Because I am human. Because with our human eyes and our human minds, we look at things and it frustrates us. We see things and we get annoyed. Each and every blessed day, I say to myself, Lord, have mercy on me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Amen. Mm-hmm. That is my national answer. I always say, Lord, have mercy on me. So when you're praying, pray some for me. Amen. Amen. You guys are all saints. You don't need all the prayer. Amen. Just pray for me a lot. Every time you go on your knees, just say to God, I bring to the grace before you, God, have mercy on me. Don't say any other thing. All I need you to say is, God have mercy on her. Amen. Amen. Today, I just want to talk about be made whole. Be made whole. We're going to read two. Bible story. They both had leprosy. We know the one that they became a group of ten, and the other one that came over himself. Amen. Amen. And they all said something, which is common among all the ten. So we, when Jesus says something, that is the same to both. The group and the one who came in single, the single man. So we're going to start from the book of Matthew 8, verse 1 to 3. Eight, 
And this is the first one. When he was down, when he was come down from the mountain, great multitude followed him. And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, all this thou and cut, thou cut make me clean. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will, thou art clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Amen. Amen. The Bible says he immediately the leprosy was cleansed. Amen. 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 So in this too, he asked for help from the what? The first thing I want us to take notice is he asked for help. And the material the word is cleansed. Amen. Amen. Now
that he also got his healing. Amen. Amen. Today is the day of our healing. Amen. Amen. We are receiving healing by force. No matter what the situation is, today is our healing day. Remember, we are calling out. That is the first thing we are doing. Now, the second thing we're keeping in mind is to be cleansed. Amen. Amen. To be cleansed. Luke 17. And it came to pass. Luke 17, 11. And it came to pass. As he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers which stood far off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. This is the third time we are hearing the sick shouting out to God and saying, Jesus, have mercy on us. Amen. Amen. We need the mercies of God. So Bible, what Bible says, for we have all sinned. Because of that, we have all fallen short of God's glory. Amen. Amen. The same Bible says, our righteousness is like a filthy rag before God. But the good news is, because Jesus came to die, now we are the children of God. And we deserve every good thing that is in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. So this is the third man who is saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go and show yourself to the priest. And when and it came to pass that as they went, they were the second word we are looking at today is they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, he turned back with a loud voice, glorified God, and fell down on his face as Jesus speak, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. Basically, he's trying to say he was not a partaker of God's goodness. He was a foreigner. Just like you and I, we were far away from the grace of God. We were far away from the inheritance of God until Jesus came. Amen. Amen. And Jesus answered, Were well, there not ten cleansed? But where are the other nine? They are not found that will tend to give glory to God. Save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, for thy faith hath made thee whole. I come to that. Each and every one of them got cleansed. Have you, anyone seen anybody with left?
get to a point where you don't even have this hand again. Like fresh wounds are always on you. Some people, their limbs get cut off out of this disease. Amen? Amen. These are the men that came to Jesus, asking to be cleansed, Amen. asking to be made clear. Amen. Amen. And Jesus did. He told each of them, each one of them that they are cleansed. Amen. Amen. But one person did something that this case is different. The nine, the other, the single one that came. Jesus said they are cleansed. That means the fresh wounds that they have is here. Amen. Everything has dried up. Amen. The sickness has left them. Amen. Amen. But the one person that returned, the one that remembered and was grateful for the fact that his disease has been healed, he returned back to say thank you. That even though my hands, my fingers are no more there, thank you. Even though my feet, I may, I may not have my toes again, but thank you. By doing this, Jesus said, that have been made whole. That have been made whole means that there will be no more trace of that sickness anymore. Because you see, all those fingers that were away, now everything is back in here. There will be no more trace of that disease again. But the other nine, they were cleansed and the disease is gone. But when you see them, you know that this man or this woman had this disease. But the one that returned, the one that came back to say, Master, thank you. What happened to him? He was made whole. Now his case was special. Because because he returned, because he came back to say thank you. Because I am coming back to say thank you for the job that paid me 800 pounds. Because he came back to say thank you for the job that even paid me 500. Because of that, God is saying, I'm giving you a job that is paying you 2,000. Yeah. And he went back again, he said, because of this job you gave me, I'm saying thank you. And you came back again, God is saying, because of you are back again with all this appreciation, I'm giving you 3,000. God is saying, you came with just sore head. And each time you came back, he said, thank you, because now the sore head is a bit low. It's not bashing like it used to do before. He's saying this time, no more. You have that kidney disease. That is worrying you. And you come back to God and he said, thank you that I was able to wake up this morning. Thank you that I was able to lift up my hands this morning. And God is saying, because you came back to say thank you, to show appreciation, I am moving you to another level. As a church, we need, we need, we need to be thankful most of the time. Sicknesses are eating us up each and every blessed day. Child of God. That's why I'm saying today we are going to pray. It's enough to be cleansed. But we just don't want to stay cleansed. We want to be made whole. I just don't want to be the same old and you got paid this amount and you stay satisfied and you were good and that's it. Other people who don't believe in the Son of God are doing greater things. And the one that he, every good thing is with him. It's your father. Why should you lack? Why should sickness hold you down? Why should depression hold you down? Why should you do well academically? Why should you do well in every aspect of your life? Remember, they cried and they said, Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me. Each and every one of them cried out and said, have mercy on me. They did not 
go to God and say, if thou be the son of God, if you think you are the one who is capable of doing every other thing, show yourself up. Even one said, if thou art willing, he said, if you are willing, God, that you may heal me. The other shouted, that Jesus have mercy on me. So they even I need to shout and say, Jesus have mercy on me. Jesus, be gracious to me. I don't want just to remain cleansed. I want to be made whole. I want to be an example unto the generations. I want my life to be an example. So I need to be made whole. We have to be made whole. Because our master is whole. He's not lacking in any way. Amen. Amen. You see that paper issue? How about you tell him you are grateful that you are still here? Yeah. But you want to move to the next level. You see that hospital issue? Or that doctor's report. You say, I thank you that I'm awake this morning. Thank you that I can lift my hands. But can I be made whole, Jesus? I'm thankful that I'm being cleansed. But can I be made whole, Master? Can we ask him, can I be made whole, Jesus? Can we be made whole, Holy Spirit? Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Remember, everything that we are going through physically is happening spiritual. And our battlefield is spiritual, is spirit. So now we work together. We want to start as children of the most high God. As an army of God. And we want to stand on that battlefield. But we are battling in the spirit. Remember, we already have the armor of God. If you remember, we already spoke about the armor of God. You have every armor in place for that battlefield. So you want to stand, arise with me. God bless you as you do so. We want to stand. Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me. We want to be cleansed, but we just don't want to be cleansed. We want to be made whole. Amen. I want to be made whole. I want to be made whole in my business. I want to be made whole in my job. I want to be made whole in, in every aspect of my life. I want to be made whole. I want to be made whole in my ministry. I want to be made whole in every, even in my friendship with my friends. I want to be made whole. Somebody who wants to be made whole. I don't want to be the same. I don't want to just say cleanse and I am healed. I don't want any trace of this disease. I don't want any trace of that. I want to be made whole. I want to be a testimony unto I want people to see us. Is it not the same person who had this issue? And they said, why is it that there is no trace of it anymore? Because you have an encounter with the Son of God. Because when you meet Jesus, things can't remain the same. When you not meet Jesus, your spirit is with him. Have to testify that you the name Jesus. But we said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous run into that name and they are saved. At the mention of the name Jesus, every single knee must bow. And every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. To this afternoon, we want to bring the sick before God. We want to declare healing in the name of Jesus. 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 Mama Bosanga Hanna. Nana Bosanga Cabranda Bosha. Yekatana Bosata Maria Hanna. We are bringing the sick before God. We are bringing the sick before God. As a woman with the issue of blood, on the very day he tagged Jesus coming. Bible said Jesus said he felt power come out of him, and he asked, "Who touched me?" Somebody, this afternoon, somebody has to experience the goodness of God. We have to experience the healing power of God. Somebody, lift up your voice and say, "Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me." Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me. Jesus, Son of God, I want to be made whole. That faith has made me whole. That faith has made me whole. That faith has.